Okay, the final stage consists of uh, mainly two things. We will add some ambient occlusion to the floor to better ground both the vehicle and the eight balls and of course the cargo once it's out of the box. And we will also add and animate a uh, target camera. So first thing, unhide lid as we want that to show in the final animation. Then select the tab for scene that we have a background material and a floor material. So select the floor material, go to the basic tab and activate diffusion. In diffusion you load in the texture channel, uh, you load ambient occlusion and uh, just use it as default, that will be fine this animation. Remember that ambient occlusion will increase render time. This is a fairly coarse, grainy ambient occlusion setting, the default one, but for our purposes, let's do a quick test render. You can see we have the ambient occlusion below the wheels here, and uh, I think that will do just fine. You can tweak the values as much as you like for a finer ambient occlusion solution. This will be fine for now. So let's add a camera by going to Objects, Scene, Target Camera. This camera will always point at this target, camera target. So move the camera target to the center of the eight balls. You can see the camera here is constantly looking at it. Uh, something like that should be fine. Now select cameras, scene cameras, camera to view the scene through this camera here. With the camera target still selected you can easily rotate around the scene. You can't move it but you can rotate the camera and we want it to we have the vehicle here and we want it to be say here let's zoom in a bit that should be fine now keyframe the Y position click on the camera in the <coughs> sorry in the attributes manager you have the coordinates tab and the Y position for the camera which is in my case around 80. So control click to keyframe that. Scroll to frame 140. That's when the vehicle will come to full stop. And you can either click this little square here or go to uh, view, uh, all four views because now we're going to move the camera on the y-axis so it's easier to see it from the side while you're still watching the scene. So move it up, I would say to around, yeah you can see around 900 centimeters for me. Uh, so keyframe that position as well. Now let's test play the animation here. The camera moves up. There it comes, the vehicle. And around now the plate will push out its cargo. Looks pretty good. So the only thing left to do really is to scrub back to frame zero, unhide the scene group, we can collapse that one and that one. We can also group this of course to tidy up the scene, name it eight balls or something. Uh, I haven't done that but um, it's always good to organize your, your uh, object manager. And um, with that all you have to do is set up any necessary output render settings and uh, press play to see what's going on. 
we can do a quick test render here. We can see the I'm in occlusion doing the thing here. Yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, good luck.